Now if we look at page 18 of your black books, we can see how Gerald is involved. Gerald responds to the inspector with, and we can't help you there because we don't know. And the stage directions slowly, are you sure you don't know, emphasises the fact that somehow Gerald and the rest of the Burlings are involved. We can also see that the audience can predict their involvement, so we have proleptic irony, creating suspense as the audience wonders just how they're involved in Eva Smith's suicide. Now note just how intimidating he is through the stage directions. He looks at Gerald, then at Eric, then at Sheila. This, we could see, would be incredibly unnerving for the characters involved. Then Burling quite pompously asks, And are you suggesting now that one of them knows something about this girl? The inspector responds with a curt yes, emphasising the fact that despite Burling's best efforts to try and intimidate him, he is not swayed. Then Burling changes his tone. You didn't come here just to see me then. Again the inspector responds with an incredibly curt no. Now note the stage directions. The other four exchange bewildered and perturbed glances. We can see that the inspector deliberately makes use of short clipped responses to let them reveal their own involvement in Eva's suicide. We can also see through the choice of the word bewildered and perturbed that middle and upper class people are ignorant to their involvement in the lower classes and their fate. This time the stage directions draw attention to Burling's incredibly different tone with marked change of tone. Well, of course, if I'd known that earlier, I wouldn't have called you officious and talked about reporting you. You understand that, don't you, Inspector? I thought that, for some reason best known to yourself, you were making the most of this tiny bit of information I could give you. I'm sorry, this makes a difference. You sure of your facts? Here we can see his fear of a scandal is evident in his change of attitude. We can also see through his use of the word officious and also the sejura in talked about reporting you, you understand that, don't you, Inspector, that he is incredibly nervous about the family's possible involvement. However, the very final question, you sure of your facts, emphasises that this is self-motivated, that he is in fact only frightened because of the fear of a scandal and what this could do to his family's reputation. The inspector responds with some of them, yes. Burling tries to undermine the family's involvement before he knows the whole story by saying, I can't think they can be of any great consequence. But the inspector is having none of it, emphasising, emphasised through the girl's dead, though. His blunt use of language is incredibly important because it emphasises the fact that he is incredibly harsh on the middle and upper classes because he wants them to realise their responsibility. Sheila responds with, What do you mean by saying that? You talk as if we were responsible. Here you can see the sharper tone in what do you mean by saying that, but we can also see that she is an incredibly intuitive, perceptive character.